Hello, my name is Lucas. I am the founder of Data Marketing School. In today's video, I'm going to explain why you need server-side tagging and how to set it up with adding well and state. When it comes to data collection inside a browser, you need to know that there are several limitations that can alter your data quality and quantity. So the first limitation, you don't have control over it, is the current regulation. If you need to comply with the regulation and you can't be exempted from consent, you need to collect consent from your visitors before collecting data. This is the first element that will decrease the percentage of the data you can collect on your website. And this will depend on your opt-in rate which is the percentage of people saying yes over all your website visitors on your consent management platform or cookie banner. So of course you can optimize this opt-in rate, but here in this example, it's 60%. So you lose 40% of your data by collecting data only from visitors who consented. After this, you have technical limitations, which are ad blockers and browsers restrictions. So ad blockers, they basically block tracking requests from being sent from the browser. This decreases the percentage of data you can collect. And this percentage is most of the time between 5% to 15%, depending on your current website traffic, which is actually using ad blockers. Here in this example, you have 45% of the data left and then your data quantity doesn't decrease anymore, but your data quality is altered by some browser's restrictions. In the end, this is 45% of all your website data that you are able to collect, but even this 45% of data collected is not of high quality because of browser's restriction. On this example, I show you the difference between client-side and server-side and the improved data quality and data quantity. Basically, the consented data is tied to the opt-in rate, which is 60% in this example. So if you can optimize your opt-in rate, you will have more data sent to your marketing platforms. But this is a work you need to do on the on your cookie banner. This is more a client-side work. But the server side will allow you to bypass ad blockers and allow you to bypass browser's restrictions. So this means that the data actually collected will be 60% and this data won't be altered by browsers. The data quality and the data quantity will be optimal. Now I'm going to explain what is the difference between a client-side and a server-side side architecture and what are basically the differences in both setups. On a client-side setup here, inside your browser, you're loading the GTM web container, which then loads a GTAG or a script, basically, per platform you want to connect. In this example, we are connecting three different platforms. You need three different scripts on the client side to send data to these platforms. And when you are on a server-side setup, you have on the left a browser, in the middle, your server and on the right the different platforms and the different APIs you want to connect to. On the left you need to load only Google Tag Manager and one script from GA4 on the most standard implementation. So you're sending this data to your server and then this is your server through GTM server side, which then dispatches the data to the different platforms. A server side architecture like this one comes with some advantages, which are loading less scripts in the visitor's browser, which results in an improved web performance. Since your server is acting like a gateway between the visitor browser and all your different platforms you connect to, you can apply transformations on your data so you can enrich your data Data, you can exclude some data from being sent to a specific platform, for example. You can also edit the data. So for example, if you want to remove some bytes of the IP address, you can do it on your GTM server and you can apply it to only one specific platform or to all platforms. You can also have monitoring and alerting system so that you can be aware of what's going on, what data is going through your server. You, you know when there is an issue, for example, when there is a, an API that doesn't answer anymore. Also, you have a first party data collection, which means that the visitors browsers are sending the data to your own server before you send it to third party platforms. This 
allows you to have a lot more control over the data that is collected inside visitors browsers. To be able to implement a server-side architecture, you will need, of course, to host a server on either Google Cloud or a package solution like Addingwell or Stape. If you have an internal DevOps team and your DevOps team has time to set up and maintain your tagging server, you can go for Google Cloud. If you answer no to the first two steps, you should go for a package solution like Addingwell or Stape. So in this video, I'm not going to show you how to set up your server on Google Cloud because I don't have the technical skills to do it, but I'm going to show you how to provision your server with Addingwell and Stape and how to choose between these two platforms. To help you choose between Addingwell and Stape, I created a comparison table, which you can find below this video. Now I'm going to show you how you can set up your tagging server on Addingwell. So to show you how to set up Addingwell, I'm going to uh, use my demonstration shop here which is dmsplayground.com and I have installed on this website a Google Tag Manager web container which is here DMS Playground web and I'm going to rename this tab to GTM web okay so here I've prepared um, adding well sign up page so you can um, go to this page by clicking the link below this video. So here you can enter your email. So once your email is verified, you can enter, you can fill in this form and enter all required information. You, then you are inside the adding well onboarding and here you can create your first container and your container will be the place where you host your GTM server. So here let's name this DMS playground let's create a new billing account so this is the billing account which will be attached to this container click on continue then you can enter your company click on continue and here you can select your time zone and um, more importantly your server location and your data location so here you can choose the place where most of your visitors are coming from so here in this example i'm going to choose um, belgium and then continue to Addingwell. Here you are inside Addingwell interface and the first thing you need to do is uh, enter this container config here which you can find on Google Tag Manager. If I go to admin here inside my GTM web container you can see I've got a GTM server side tutorial account and inside this account I have this GTM web container and in the same account I'm going to create another container which is going to be a server container and I'm going to name this DMS playground dash server create and then once you create a GTM server container you need to choose between automatically provision your tagging server so this is going to be with google cloud and you can also choose to manually provision your tagging server and here when you choose this your container config appears and you can copy this and paste it inside adding well you can then click on next and here you need to choose your domain and your subdomain so in my case the domain is dmsplayground.com this is the domain of my website and then as a subdomain i recommend you to choose something that is neutral and that is not linked to tracking tagging basically you need to choose something that is not currently blocked by ad brokers and that doesn't have any chance to be block in the future by ad brokers so in this example i'm going to choose srv because this is something neutral which is not related to tracking and then click next and now you do have some dns configuration to do so basically this will depend on which dns provider you are using but in this example i'm going to show you this with cloudflare and the interface will be the same for any dns provider here i do have two dns records the first one is an a record and the second one is 4a's record so i'm going to copy the ip address of the first dns record and i'm going to cloudflare inside cloudflare you have a dns section and inside this dns section you have a tab which is called records and here inside your records you can click on add record here you can select the type a you can paste 
the IP address you just copied on Addingwell, you need to remove the proxy status here to set to DNS only. Here you can enter your subdomain, which is SRV. And here you can see that srv.dmsplayground.com points to this IP address. And this is exactly what we need here. You can save here for this record and we're going to create the four A's record. So select four A's, copy the IP address, paste it here, here enter SRV and then remove the proxy and then click save. So if you're not using Cloudflare, you may not have this proxy status to manage. So don't worry about this if you don't have it. But if you're using a proxy like Cloudflare, you need to disable this. And then when you go back to adding well, you need to wait a little bit for the DNS records to propagate. Then this interface will update. A few minutes later, you can see that adding well is provisioning your server. So it takes some time now to uh, basically set up your server. And once it's ready, you will receive an email. So meanwhile, what you can do is if you go to your GTM server container. So here, let's open a new tab and let's call this GTM server. So here on your server container, you can go to admin and then container settings. And here you can add a server container URL, which is used for the preview, srv.dmsplayground.com and click save. Go back to workspace and now let's wait for this server to be provisioned. So once your server is ready on Addingwell, it unlocks the interface and you land on this dashboard. Now you can start sending data to your server. So here inside your GTM server, you can click on preview. So this opens your server preview on srv.dmsplayground.com. And so this shows you that your server is actually provisioned and is ready. And here inside GTM web, you need to use a Google tag to send your data to your server. And your Google tag needs to have a specific parameter. So here you can enter your GA4 tag ID. For the example, I'm just going to use this one. And inside configuration settings, you need to have the server container URL parameter, which you need to set to your subdomain that you configured previously on adding well. Click save and save again. Open the preview in your GTM web container. If you look at your GTM server preview, you can see a page view event was sent through the G tag here. Okay. And here you can see the incoming request. You can also see the event data, all the data that is being sent from your GTM web to your GTM server. All your events inside your GTM web need to be sent to your GTM server. And then on your GTM server, add some tags here to connect all your platforms. Now I'm going to show you how to set up your tagging server on Stape. So before I show you how to set up Stape, I'm going to show you what I'm working with. So here I've got my demonstration website which is dmsplayground.com. I've got a GTM web container which is inserted inside the website and here I've opened the preview on this GTM web container which is empty here and I'm going to sign up for a Stape account. You'll find below this video a link to create your account. Let's go for the configuration. Here you need your email and you need to select where your users are located. You need to choose between global and EU and if you choose EU you, you will only be able to select servers located in Europe. And if you select global, you will be able to choose servers globally across the world. So let's select global for this example, sign up with email. And then I'm redirected to my Stape account. From here, you uh, will need to create your SGTM container. You can click here, create SGTM container. You can also go to SGTM section here and click create SGTM container. So let's do this. So I'm going to name this DMS playground container configuration. So this is something you um, can find inside your GTM server container, which we did not create uh, yet. Inside your GTM web container, you can go to admin. You can see here that my GTM web container is inside my account, which is GTM server side tutorial. And inside the same account, I'm going to create a GTM server container. So let's name this DMS playground 
server and click create. Then once your GTM server is created, you can choose between automatically provision tagging server. So this is with Google Cloud or manually provision tagging server. So you need to choose this one to do the state setup. Your container config will appear. This is what you need to copy and paste to state. For this example, for service location, we will choose regional only and I'll choose EU center Germany for this example. Create container. So you can select the free plan to start with and to uh, test the solution and then click on continue and then choose a billing country. So this is going to be France for me and click apply. You need to enter your credit card, but if you don't want to enter your credit card, you can choose free here and uncheck this and continue. So now you are inside your SGTM container. You can see your container config. We've just added the container ID, which is your uh, GTM server ID here. So let's create a new tab here. Let's name this GTM server. So now we have created your SGTM container, but we need to set up your custom domain. Down below in the domains section, you can click add custom domain. You can enter a domain name, which is in my case going to be SRV as a subdomain. You need to choose something that is not currently blocked by ad blockers and that doesn't have any chance to being blocked in the future. So I choose something uh, neutral like SRV. Then I'm going to connect this domain manually and click next. And here I need to enter a CNAME record uh, like this. You can also click on advanced settings and use A records instead of CNAME. So I recommend using A records instead of CNAME. So click on advanced settings uh, and check this and then click next. And here you do have two DNS records to add to your DNS provider. So I'm going to show you the configuration with Cloudflare, but it's going to be mostly the same configuration for any other DNS provider. Inside Cloudflare, I'm going to click on add record. So I am inside the DNS section and inside DNS, um, I'm inside the records Tab. So I click on add record and here uh, I choose a type. I copy the value here, which is going to be the IPv4 address. And here I'm going to enter my subdomain. And you can see here that srv.dmsplayground.com points to state IP. I remove the proxy status. If you don't use a tool like Cloudflare, you may not have this proxy status to disable. But with Cloudflare, you need to do this and then add another record which is going to be a four A's this time and copy this IP address, paste it here, enter SRV and disable the proxy. Click save and then go back to state and click on verify. A few minutes later, if you've entered your DNS records correctly, Stape will tell you that your um, domain is ready. From here, you can go to your GTM server container, go to admin, then go to container settings and click add here, enter your server address, which in my case is srv.dmsplayground.com. Click save, go to workspace, and then you can open the preview here to see if your GTM server preview is working. Here it's working correctly. Now I'm going to show you how you can send data to your server and see some events appear here inside the GTM server preview. So go to your GTM web container, click on the tag section, create a Google tag. So give it a tag ID. So you can select an ID from a GA4 property. Here inside configuration settings, you need to add a specific parameter to send your data. I mean, to tell the Google tag to send the data to your server and here enter your server address. Click save, save. And now let's open the preview Again, if you check your GTM server preview, you can see that events were received here. And you can see here the incoming requests on your GTM server. And inside the event data tab, you can see all the data that is being sent to your server inside this request. Now, all is left to do is for you to connect your different platforms uh, and to add tags here inside your GTM server container. And also make sure that all the events of your uh, tagging plan are actually sent to your server. Okay, so now that your tagging server 
software is set up with either Addingwell or Stape, where do you go from here? So for the next steps, you can check the resources below. You will find a GTM server side beginner course. I also provide as a freelancer done for you server side migration services. You can also look at Addingwell documentation, Stape documentation, and get some support from these hosting providers as well.